Uh, welcome back to Shane's Main Shop. If you watched my earlier video, or last week's, or whatever it was, when I replaced the lower motor that burnt out in this, I had talked about the top getting jammed up uh, because these pellets had nowhere to go because the lower Argo was not feeding them in. So in this video, I thought I'd just take a quick minute to show you how to uh, get this unclogged because uh, the motor can't turn this auger anymore because there's so much jammed up in behind here. And you really gotta get that out of there so you don't burn another motor out. And the easiest way to do that really is to come back here and we're gonna basically take off this motor. We're gonna loosen this bolt up here, take the motor out, and then we're gonna turn the auger backwards and get it cleaned out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick here. Pellet stove on so the lower feed auger would continue to clear out what's beyond this. And I still have the motor off and I'm basically just turning it by hand now to get everything cleaned out of it now that I got it unstuck and unjammed. So I'll show you here and how much faster it's turning just by doing it by hand. You know, I just, I just basically kept working this back and forth, pulling pellets out until I got it unjammed. So now she's flowing freely, and the lower one has removed the plug from the other end of this auger and sent them on down the way. So now I'm gonna shut everything down, put the motor back on, and we will be done. So if you have a jam in your upper motor, uh, this is one way to do it. The other way is, of course, to remove this auger from the back of the, let's go ahead and shut that off, to remove the auger from the back of the pellet stove and then you can easily clean it out that way but i just wanted to avoid that step uh, but it is just those four bolts that's it all right thanks for swinging by shane's bean shop please like subscribe comment come back often for more videos have a great day and we'll see you in the next video